Yeah, let's talk about your platform. What are some of your hotline items on the agenda you would like to bring to D.C.? Okay, well, first, it's very simplistic. It's old school. I believe in the sanctity of life, especially the child conceived in the womb. I believe yeah. in the right to possess and bear arms. I believe in limited government. I would like to see the Federal Reserve abolished because our present monetary system is not sustainable and it's not a matter of when, I'm sorry, not a matter of if, but when it will collapse. I believe that blacks are smart enough to get photo ID to go and vote despite all the talk that we hear that uh, there is voter suppression. Well, it's, not about, it's not about an issue of smartness. Let me just challenge that for a moment. Okay, ago, please. Nobody had to present an ID to vote because it's considered a right. Do you agree that voting is a right? Yes, voting is a right. Well, but then, I have heard the argument. Right. I have heard well, the well, argument. I'm not, I'm not making whatever argument you're about to say. Let me okay. just tell you what argument I'm making. All right. Um, what other right do you have where you must present an ID in order to exercise it? Uh, to get married? That's not a right. Uh, getting married is, is not, a right. That is not a protected, no, it's not, it's not a protected right in the Constitution. Where is it? For, first Fine. off, first off, marriage was never supposed to be a part of the government's purview. We, we they that. made marriage it a part of their purview I, to I, prevent I blacks from marrying whites. Right. We know that, brother. We've done that show here on this program many times. The okay. Of marriage and how it was used for government to discriminate against uh, couples marrying who are not of the same race. We all know that here. Okay. But the question is, what other constitutionally protected right do you have as a man where you must present an ID in order to exercise that right? So you and I, I see where this will go. You and I will be going back and forth. The, the, and this is the reason why I say I believe in limited government because the government inserts itself and turns things into what we have believed to have become a right. So my point is, okay. if they can require ID for other simplistic things, surely the issue should never have been made that ID is voter suppression. That's my point. You. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this question because I think you hit on something important about government intrusion. Uh, do you think it is government intrusion for a government, city government, county government, whatever it is, to mandate wearing a mask for the sake of public health safety? Do you think that's intrusion? Yes, I do. do you yes, think I do. It's intrusion. Okay. So you think wearing a mask is intrusion? The mandate to wear a mask is intrusion on the rights of others. Do you think that a mandate? For a woman not to have the ability to choose um, is not an intrusion of the government. There are two people we're talking about. The life in the womb okay. and the life of the woman. We men and women have half a dozen choices to prevent okay. unwanted pregnancies. And the death of a child should not be tolerated because of the poor choices of a male and a and a female and that is okay, my position so I and i bring that from a religious perspective and i believe that's that's okay so and i appreciate that let's i mean let's have a conversation about it um you believe fundamentally that life begins at conception i don't believe that i believe life begins when a respiratory function takes place um later into the development of the fetus that's what i personally believe you personally personally believe something different i can respect the difference of belief but let me ask you this question since uh, the abortion issue is primary. I, I would imagine you call yourself pro-life, right? Yes, I am pro-life. Are you pro-death penalty? No, I am not. And I have a dozen posts out there where I have advocated against the death penalty. Also, Government is and too and corrupt to be in charge. Anti-war. Government is too corrupt you. to be in charge. Are you, are you, yeah. Yep. Are you anti-war as well? I am pro self defense so hopefully okay. that that clarifies if somebody messes right. with me we mess with them other than that all of this interventionist stuff that bush uh clinton obama that all of them started i was right. fervently against it and i am grateful that there have been no more 
advancements in that arena. In fact, we've had troop drawdown. We don't hear in the news about the number of troops being killed in battle every day like we used to. So I'm grateful for that. Let me ask you about the abortion rate. Um, under Democratic presidents, abortion rates consistently decrease in America. Under Republican presidents, they either um, stay steady or they, or they increase, as seen under George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush. Um, also, you saw the sharpest decrease in abortion rates in America under President Barack Obama and President Bill Clinton, respectively. My question to you is, given the data uh, that's freely available of abortion rates decreasing under Democratic presidents and increasing under Republican presidents, would not a Republican consider voting for a Democrat as president to make sure there's a decrease in abortions throughout America and not an increase? So, first off, I'm, I'm going to say this. I have never heard that uh, argument or statistics ever in my life. But I will research it and I will email you back my response as far as voting for Democrats. See, I go all the way back to the Compromise of 1877 and all of the policies that have followed as a result of liberal Democrats, such as the New Deal, the Great Society, No Man in the House Rule, all of those policies that have done nothing but to destroy the sanctity of the family amongst black people. 1965, illegitimacy was less than 13%. Today, it is more than 70%. So I think that black people who vote for Democrats like segregation Joe Biden, as I call him, vote against their own self-interest when they do so. So, you know, I am going to look well, for what you just talked about. Never heard it. Interest. Well, I mean, look it up. I mean, I'm glad you at least admitted you don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. You can just look it up uh, after the interview, no problem. But do you think that economy is a big part of why black people should vote for a particular leader, their personal economy? Well, you know, I, I told the young lady that asked, asked me how, what points would I like to cover. I made it clear that even though I'm running in the Republican Party, please state yeah. that I am a conservative constitutionalist. The reason is I believe people should vote for the individual and their platform uh, or their past performance. We have 535 representatives in Washington, D.C. Of those right. five, only eight vote in line with the Constitution 80% of the time or more. But you got to understand, the Constitution was not written with black people in mind. The Constitution, when you say that you are a conservative constitutionalist, the Constitution itself was written with the uh, express sentiment that black men were not even men. They were considered property. So when you say you want to conserve that ideology, that means you want to lock in this conservative narrative that somehow black men were not part of the agenda of the constitutional directive okay, for, in its creation. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that words have meaning? I'm sure you do. Words I believe words are things, like well, Maya Angelou said. Well, I believe, words, have more I, than I believe words have meaning. Uh, with that being said, when I read the words, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. When I read Lincoln's speech, that when it referred to the Declaration of Independence preamble, when it said that all men, men included the Negro, I believe, in well, that. And I've also read the... Bill of Rights. So if you read the Bill of Rights, it does not subdivide men. It okay. gives rights to the citizens of the United States. I am a citizen and those right. same Bill of Rights that apply to any white man or any mm -hmm. Asian citizen, they apply to me too. And I'll and be I'm damned if I'll let anybody and, take and them away I from believe, me. I believe with you in that now. Let me ask you this. I'm running out of time. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I got to cut that short. Um, economy. Under Democratic presidents, black people receive an increase in annual income of roughly 2,000 plus. Under Republican presidents, black people get a net negative of about $180 in their household. Under this president, under President Trump, black family income has dropped. My median household income has dropped by over $2,000 per year. And under this president, you've also seen a decline in the power of the dollar that black people make inside of the workplace as compared to their white counterparts for doing the same job. Black people are making less money. Black people are also paying more taxes under the Trump administration's tax plan than under the Obama tax plan. So when you say that black people should simply vote for Trump, 
if we're talking about economy, black people are losing money in the economy. Household median income has decreased. Um, there, there's a net negative under Republican leadership. What are you selling black people if you're selling them something outside of the economic reality? So first off, those are statistical talking points that I believe are simply no, just being are, regurgitated are, because they come from the government. Well, uh, they come, I, they come I, directly I, from from the Department of Labor. Okay, the so of Labor. so I've not seen those facts. I've seen a sir, different set of facts. Up? I mean, you hell, you running for Senate, sir? Have you hey, well, up? yeah, I'm running for Senate, but as a black man, I pay less in taxes under Trump. As a black man, my okay, income increased under Trump, and I know many other people. I know Your many. Job is to run as a representative, and if you're not looking at what the demographic is doing, I've, I, I, these I didn't say I didn't look at the demographics. I said yours are just the other side's talking point. And as far as what no, I'm selling, not, what, look, hold on, hold on. Sir. Let let me make my last point. As far as what I'm selling, I am not on, selling on, anything. On, I ain't promising nobody the anything extra except for what the Constitution offers. And those okay. numbers you are, right. are, are, are recounting, that's on yeah. your side. I have seen numbers that so are completely contrary to that. And, and you know what? And I'm going to go look for those numbers. And when I respond to you on the other make question, sure, I will sure send you my response. Black household median income decreasing under. The I'm going to go and look for that. For I have right. never heard that strong. or seen that. Now, I know you haven't. You haven't studied it. I no, I have that. studied it. I have Thank studied you, sir. the. No, you have not, yes, brother. I have. Well, I appreciate your call, brother. Yeah, brother. brother. <laughs> don't mean nothing to know everything, brother. Hey, look. No, we most certainly don't, and that's the reason why I tried to tell you I'm a little bit different than what you're used to. So you have yeah, a good you're one, Chief. Different, all right. Yeah.